It's really hard this year because of uh, all the questions that they've given, and uh, especially when, uh, with the debates and stuff. Um, they raised a lot of uh, good questions on those, and uh, that changed my mind a lot of times. I was back and forth. So, but right now I'm still, I'm gonna, I'll have to really make my decision tomorrow morning. Actually, no, this is the first time. Otherwise, I've usually been pretty much straightforward and I know exactly what I'm gonna do. This is the first time I've really been so undecided that, you know, I haven't decided yet and it's tomorrow's the election. I'm kind of relieved that it's gonna be over, but it sounds like it's not gonna be over for a long time. It's an important election, so it takes as long as it takes and that's important. The, uh, the calls and the, the um, leaflets and uh, the advertising on TV in particular, um, and there's been a level of intrusiveness in this election that I think is unprecedented, so I think we're all kind of dismayed and, about that and, and wanting that to be over with, but I don't think it's going to be over with for, for quite some time because it's such a close election. So just got to hang in there for the long haul. Uh, it's also a very politically charged election, and we certainly experienced that during early voting as well. So we anticipate that our voting sites will be very busy. Uh, we anticipate a tremendous public participation in terms of uh, observing the election, and we expect uh, immediate demand for election results, because obviously the country is going to have their eye on the election turnout in the swing states.